Don Williams was born the youngest of three sons on May 27, 1939, in Floyd Dida, Texas. His parents were Lovetta May Lambert and James Andrew, better known as Jim, Williams. Now, he grew up in Portland, Texas, and graduated from Gregory Portland High School in 1958. After Williams' parents divorced, Lovetta Williams remarried first to Chester Lang and then to Robert Beavers, sadly for the Williams family. On July 20th, 1963, Williams' eldest brother, Kenneth, died after being accidentally electrocuted. When touching a live wire, he was only 29 years old. Prior to forming the folk pop group Pozo Seco Singers, Williams served with the United States Army Security Agency for two years. After an honorable discharge, he worked various odd jobs in order to support himself and his family. It was with the group Pozo Seco Singers that Williams, alongside Susan Taylor and Lofton Klein, recorded several records for Columbia Records. He remained with the group until 1969. It disbanded the following year. Now, after the Pozo Seco singers disbanded, Williams briefly worked outside the music industry. Soon, however, Williams resumed his career in music. Now, it was in December 1971 that Don Williams signed on as a songwriter for Jack Clement with Jack Music Incorporated. In 1972, Williams inked a contract with JMI Records as a solo country artist. His 1974 song, We Should Be Together, reached number five, and he signed with ABC Dot Records. Now it was at the height of the country and western boom in the UK in 1976. He had top 40 pop chart hits with You're My Best Friend and I Recall a Gypsy Woman. His first single with ABC Dot, I Wouldn't Want to Live If You Didn't Love Me, became a number one hit and was the first of a string of top ten hits he had between 1974 and 1991. Only four of his 46 singles did not make it to the top ten. I Believe in You, written by Roger Cook and Sam Hogan, was Williams' 11th number one on the country chart. It was his only top 40 chart entry in the United States, where it peaked at number 24. It was also a hit in Australia, New Zealand, and Europe. Williams had some minor roles in Burt Reynolds' movies. For example, in 1975, Williams appeared as a member of the Dixie Dance Kings Band in the movie WW and the Dixie Dance Kings. He also appeared as himself in the Universal Pictures movie, Smokey and the Bandit 2, in which he also played a number of songs. Now it was early in 2006 that Williams announced his farewell tour of the world and played numerous dates, both in the United States and abroad, wrapping the tour up with a sold-out final farewell concert in Memphis, Tennessee, at the Cannon Center for Performing Arts, on November 21st, 2006. But that retirement only lasted four years. In 2010, he came out of retirement and was once again touring. In March 2012, Williams announced the release of a new record, and so it goes. The UK release date for that was April 30th, 2012, and then was released US and worldwide on June 19, 2012, his first new record since 2004. The record was his first with the independent Americana label, Sugar Hill Records. The record includes guest appearances by Alison Krauss, Keith Urban, and Vince Gill. To accompany the release, he embarked on a UK tour. As a much-loved country artist among British fans, he had his final UK tour, in 2014. Now it was on March 2016, Williams announced he was retiring from touring and canceled all his scheduled shows. It's time to hang up my hat, enjoy some quiet time at home. I'm so thankful for my fans, my family, and friends, 
for their everlasting love and support, he said in a statement. In his personal life, Williams married Joy Janine Butcher. In April of 1960, they had two children. On September 8, 2017, sadly, Don Williams died in Mobile, Alabama of emphysema. Okay, that's the end of our video. I sure hope you enjoyed it. If you like this type of video and want us to keep producing them, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching.